Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to see if my camera is able to capture pulse wave modulation from these devices here. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the M1 iPad Pro 2021. This is the iPad Pro 2018. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So these two displays are OLED displays. This is the LED display and this is the mini LED display. So I'm going to vary the shutter speed of my camera and later on I will change the brightness of the displays. So currently the brightness for this display is um, it's around 10 to 20 percent. This is not going to be a scientific uh, measurement because I am not able to dial in the exact brightness and I don't have the proper equipment to measure the pulse wave modulation or the PWM frequency. So currently the shutter speed of my camera is 1 over 25 of a second and this is how the various displays look. I can see obvious PWM from my camera's LCD for the OLED display. And this is my camera recording at 1 over 30th of a second. I am still able to see PWM on these two displays. By the way, PWM may or may not be noticeable depending on how sensitive your eyes are. And now my camera is recording at 1 over 40th second. And this was recorded at 1 over 50th second. Again, we can see PWM very obviously on the OLED displays. And also, you may notice the white on the OLED display here is much whiter compared to the whites here shown on the LCDs. And this was recorded at 1 over 60th second. So, with this particular setting, I do not see any PWM because the frequency of the OLED displays actually match the frequency of my camera. Hence, there is no flickering. And this was recorded at 1 over 80th second. So again, we can see some PWM here and some there. This is 1 over 100 second. Very obvious PWM. And this is 1 over 125 second. So PWM not that noticeable. And this was recorded at 1 over 160. So now we see PWM again. And this time it's very noticeable. So this is brightness at about 10 to 20 percent with shutter speed 1 over 400. And now the displays are running at 50% brightness and the uh, shutter speed is 1 over 25. This was recorded at 1 over 30. No noticeable PWM from what I can see on my camera's LCD. This was recorded at 1 over 40. Again, no noticeable PWM. The shutter speed now is 1 over 50. Again, no noticeable PWM. So it seems like the brightness will affect the PWM frequency. Shutter speed now is 1 over 60. Mm, they all look good. Shutter speed now is 1 over 80. I can see slight PWM on the Samsung tablet. Shutter speed now is 1 over 100. There is PWM on the Samsung tablet. I'm not sure if I can see any on the iPhone. Shutter speed now is 1 over 125. I don't see noticeable PWM. Shutter speed now is 1 over 160. I see PWM on the Samsung tablet and on the iPhone. Shutter speed now is 1 over 400. I don't see any PWN on these two LCD displays. Display brightness is now at 100%, shutter speed 1 over 25. Shutter speed now is at 1 over 30. I don't see any PWM. Shutter speed at 1 over 40. It looks the same as the earlier setting. 
shutter speed at 1 over 50 shutter speed at 1 over 60 shutter speed at 1 over 80 I can see some PWM on the Samsung tablet shutter speed 1 over 100 I can see PWM on the Samsung and on the iPhone shutter speed 1 over 125 I don't see noticeable PWM shutter speed 1 over 160 I see PWM on the Samsung and on the iPhone shutter speed at 1 over 400 we have noticeable PWM on the Samsung and on the iPhone so to conclude OLED displays definitely have PWM this mini LED display shows PWM only under certain camera settings now when I look at all these displays in real life um, I actually am not able to see PWM because my eyes are not that sensitive thankfully so um, I can use all these displays without any discomfort or headaches if you want to find out whether any display has PWM one easy way is to use your camera use a camera app that has manual controls that can allow you to change the shutter speed and then point at the display and then switch between the different shutter speeds to see whether or not there is any flickering